guys so today's video is going to be like a chit chat get ready with me um, I decided to do like a um, end of summer makeup tutorial or look um, since fall is rolling around I wanted this to be kind of like my end of the um, summer makeup tutorial um, before we roll on to the fall makeup tutorial and trends um, that I'm going to be doing this year um, so I decided to go with a really sparkly lid and a bright orange lip because I've been obsessing over orange um, and coral lips this summer and I did this in the process of getting ready for work so this is the um, look that I'm actually going to be wearing for work today um, and I think that's basically it if you guys want to see what I use all the products that I use will be down in the description bar for you guys and as well as in the video um, and yeah that's basically it I hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video Bye. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is doing my brows because that's the first thing I always start off with um, no matter what look I'm doing or anything like that. I always like to start off with my brows just because I feel like I can really tell how my makeup is going to come out <laughs> by the way I do my brows. I don't know. It's just weird. I have to do my brows first. So um, I always use my Estee Lauder uh, soft brown brow pencil but um, it doesn't have a spoolie on the other end which I kind of hate about that it has like a highlighter side which you put under your brow I don't use that side I just use the uh, brow pencil use my Anastasia brow wiz just for the spoolie part because the spoolie is like any other and I don't know I just love the spoolie so much so I just like always use these just for the spoolie and then just for the product inside I like to fill in my brows I do have like a full-on brow tutorial video and it's the same exact thing I've been doing this for like ever now um, but I just outline the underneath of my brow and then I do the top as well um, but I'm not gonna like go through how exactly I do it because like I said I have a full-on brow video that's already up on my channel just search um, Beauty by Lex um, brow tutorial or you could just look through my videos and you'll find it there it for my brows I just kind of fill them in and then I like to go in with my spoolie kind of just blend it out make sure that it's all blended and it doesn't look so harsh um, and I like to only stop right here um, with my brows and then I will kind of just like um, spoolie it back and forth so it gets some product there but it's not as harsh so it fades um, and then after that I'm basically done I just go ahead and clean it up and I clean it up with my MAC um, this is called Pro and Conceal Highlight Palette in the color light and I just take this color right here on the side um, this color right here it's basically exactly my skin tone and my um, this is a MAC 212 brush it's kind of like skinny um, if you guys can see that right there it's kind of like really really skinny and sharp so it gets right underneath the brow and that's what I use to clean it up so that is it for Z brows um, I feel like cleaning up your brows makes such a difference so that's why I do it it just makes it look like so much more like cleaner and it looks like you got like a fresh wax or something that's why I like cleaning it up a lot of people ask me like why I always go in with concealer and clean up my brows but it makes it like so much more cleaner and I don't know I just like the way it looks so that's what I do um, and then after I'm done with brows I always like to go in with my eyeshadow whatever eye look I'm doing um, even if it's like really soft like basically nothing makeup look like everyday makeup I still go in with my um, brow um, I mean my eyeshadow first before I start my face makeup so I'm going in with my MAC Pro Longwear in the color Painterly um, this is basically like an eyeshadow primer or an eyeshadow base you can use it to enhance your eyeshadows that's what I use it for and I also use it to prime my eyelids um, and I'm almost out and I just got this which I don't understand because my other one I didn't go through it this fast but now I am going through it like crazy um, so I just go in with a brush and kind of just pick it up because I do have nails and I just don't like to get it all in my nails. So I just go in with a brush and kind of pick it up and then I will blend it out with my finger. And I like this too because it, I've mentioned before that it conceals the veins on my eyes and it just like creates a nice even canvas. Even if you have like redness on your eyelids, which I do for some reason, um, it like kind of... Um, 
evens that all out. So, okay, so I went ahead and primed. Now I'm going to go in with just a skin tone color. This used to be a face powder that I used to use for my actual face. This is the Mineralize MAC Skin Finish Natural. Um, but for some reason, this doesn't work for me. It just makes me way too oily. So I didn't want it to go to waste. So I do use it for like um, to set my um, eyeshadow primer. Um, and the reason why I like to do that is because when you go in with your crease color, it's not going to like just stick and like not blend your crease color. It's going to blend smoothly and it's it's not going to be like sticky anymore, if that makes sense. Um, so this is just what I do every single time I'm doing some kind of eyeshadow look. And I just kind of like pat it and I'm using the BH Cosmetics 4 brush. Um, this is the, one of the brushes that came in the um, white and gold set. So today, I don't really know the eyeshadow color or look that I kind of want to do. I just know I want to do something for like end of summer, something that's like bright and glowy and pretty. Um, and this is the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. And it's funny because this palette's so old and I actually have never used it. It's still like brand new. I got this like a long time ago and I don't know why I never used it. It's just been sitting in my collection for a while and... And I wanted to use it today um, to see what kind of eye look I come up with it. So I'm just going to kind of wing this look because I have absolutely no idea what kind of look I'm doing. I've never used this palette before. So I actually don't even know how these colors work. But I'm pretty sure it will be good because I love any of the Too Faced palettes. Um, their eyeshadows are amazing. Um, I guess I'm going to go on with this color right here. This is called Velvet Revolver. And it's kind of like a, um, I guess like like cool toned brown I guess you can call it so I'm gonna go with that and I'm gonna go on a little brush um, a blending brush and I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth into my crease with this color so as you guys can see like my brush is just kind of doing the work for me if I didn't put that um, color this white color to set that um, primer it would be kind of like sticking and the color would just stay there instead of like blending and like feeling very smooth and soft so after that I think I'm gonna take this color that's called sex espresso right here this dark dark chocolate color and I'm gonna take that very very lightly on my BH Cosmetics 6 brush that came in the set um, and then this is a smaller crease brush and I'm kind of just going to put this right into the socket of our crease um, and I'm gonna like Put this back and forth in windshield wiper motions and then I'm going to kind of like blend it up a little bit but not too much, not as high as our, our um, transition shade color if that makes sense. So you want to have your lid shade, your crease shade, sex espresso, and then revolver diffusing up to your brow bone. Well, I've been using this new like fa facial cleanser that my god sister gave me. Um, she told me what it's called, but I actually forgot what it what it exactly is called. But that's all I know is it has tea tree oil in it, and I think it's actually working really good for my skin. And she gave me some of hers to try when I went over there for my god sister's baptism. And I I think I'm like pretty much loving it. It has cleared up all of my acne spots and it's even cleared out like some of my pores that I could see that I had like stuff in and I know that's really gross but um, I've tried literally everything and nothing has worked. The only thing that has worked is that um, Clinique acne bar solution that has kept me from breaking out but it didn't clean my skin like I really wanted it to so um, I decided to try something else and she gave me some of hers and I'm liking it so far and it has definitely cleared up like even on the side right here I had like big breakouts it even cleaned that out I'm happy that it's cleaning it out because I was starting to get really stressed out and like scared because I felt like my acne was just spreading all over my face and that's actually one of my fears is I don't want my acne to like spread anywhere um, farther than it should be like I don't know how to explain it but I don't want it to be all over my face that just like scares me um, and yeah I, I don't want that so I'm trying to take care of it the best that I can but sometimes things work for me for a while and then they stop working so I have been getting kind of scared that it's gonna spread okay so now that we're done with our crease color I think I'm gonna go back um, 
I don't know, this palette is kind of weird because there's three matte shades and that's all the matte shades that are in here. And I like to go all matte on the crease and then shimmery on the lid or whatever. Color again, Sexpresso on an even smaller blending brush. And I'm going to put this like right into the socket of my crease to kind of, not like a cut crease, but I really want my my um, crease to stand out. going to go in with a small... Um, I guess I'll go in with this brush. This is a Beach Cosmetics brush that came in the rose gold set. Um, and it's kind of like a flat shader brush. And I'm going to go in with this color right here that's called Nude Beach. This is like so pretty. Can you guys like see that? It is like the beautifulest color out of this whole palette. That's why I wanted to use it because I thought that this color like was like perfect for like an end of summer look. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick some of that up. I don't know if I should use Fix Plus because this has like big chunks of glitter. Um, I guess I'll use some Fix Plus. And I'm just going to kind of put this right on my lid. Wow, that color is really pretty. Do that ex espresso color, a little bit more of that. And I'm just going to kind of blend the edges of that nude beach that we put on our eyelid. Because I want it to be blended. I don't want any harsh lines decided that um this color i really wanted to show you guys this is the mac photosphere electric cool eyeshadow and i don't know when these came out but i actually got this at the mall like not that long ago um and these remind me of the color pop press shadows or shadow shock shadows um and this color is so beautiful. I actually bought this for my god sister's baptism to use on my eyes. And I am obsessed with this color. Look how pretty that is. And it's like really, really sparkly. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like super sparkly. So I'm going to go ahead and add this on top of that nude beach color. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Just to enhance it a little bit more and make those glitters stand out. Actually, like, going to work. So I am kind of um, running late already. But, um... I wanted to really film this video for you guys, so I decided to do it before I go to work. Um, I've never really done this before except like get, do a get ready for me for work, so I thought it would be fun. Plus, I wanted to use natural lighting, um, which is this window right here. I've told you guys that I wanted to use natural lighting for a while because my videos... I haven't really been liking the lighting that's in my videos lately, so I decided to try it out. And... Um, I don't know, tell me guys, tell me what you think about this natural lighting because I have been wanting to use natural lighting but it's just hard because I normally have like a chair and a setup but I kind of moved it so I could film this video for you guys. Um, so after I'm done with eyeshadow I always like to go in with my false eyelashes just in case if I make a mess it doesn't ruin my um, foundation or the stuff that I have on my actual face. Um, so I wanted to try to use these lashes. I tried to use them last time and they just weren't working out for me. But I think it's because they're so like long and my eyes aren't that long. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them. These are the lashes in a box, 100% homemade. Um, these are in the number 5. Um, my sister actually gave these to me. She said she won them on an Instagram um, account. Like she won them from Instagram. So she doesn't really wear eyelashes. So she gave these to me. Um, and this is what they look like. They're so like long and wispy. That's why I wanted to use them because since we are doing kind of like a fresh like eyelid, I really thought that these would be, look very pretty. Um, so I don't know exactly how I should cut these. So I put the lashes on and they're like so long, but they're so pretty and wispy. Um, I kind of wish I would put on eyeliner, but it's okay. Um, this one's like already set and dry and this one hasn't dried yet. So that's why this one doesn't look like as up. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to fix it in a second. Um, I'm just going to let it dry for a little bit. And then we will go back and fix it. Um, so I am going to go in with my primers that I use on my face. Um, I'm going to use my Rimmel Fix and Perfect and my Primed and Poreless uh, primers. Um, these are the two primers that I've been using basically all summer. And I still love them. I actually want to go and repurchase them because I love what these two primers do especially together um one of them mattifies my face and then the other one just go ahead and uh fixes my pores like they minimize my pores the foundation i'm gonna go in with is not estee lauder double wear foundation i've been using that basically all summer and i absolutely love that foundation and it's like my holy grail 
like have to use every day but um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my sample that I have here this is the um, stay mount foundation from um, Clinique and I have heard so many good things about this foundation so I finally decided to try it and I'm going to try it for you guys today on camera I did wear it yesterday um, and I absolutely loved it but I wanted to show you guys like the finish and how well it covers so I'm gonna take some of this on my finger and kind of just like spread this out all over my face I don't know about this color yet because um, it does look really really yellow on me but once I blend it out and put powder and all that stuff it kind of just like evens it out for I'm really liking this foundation so can see like once I blend it out it does match me pretty well and it starts mattifying which I really love because some um, foundations that I like to use they start off really like um, with a sheen and they don't really dry matte but this one as you're wearing it it gets even more matte which I really like because I do not like to look like I have oily skin at all only um, if I'm putting like highlight on but and the necessary areas where I get oily, I don't like to look shiny there. So go ahead and put some concealer on. This is the concealer I've been using for a while now, basically all summer. Um, this is the uh, Maybelline New York Master Conceal um, Concealer. And I actually started using this because um, I forgot who it was mentioned it, but they mentioned that it was like a perfect dupe for the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And you guys know that that is basically my like holy grail um, product that I use all the time for concealer it covers amazingly and it doesn't crease which I really love about that but sometimes it could get kind of expensive because I run out of it so quickly since I do use it every single day or when I'm using makeup but this is like a perfect dupe the only thing that I found that it does crease but other than that, it works exactly like the um, MAC Pro Longwear, especially like the color too. It matches really similar to um, the one that I use. I use the NW15. So uh, next, I'm going to take my Cody Airspun, or what is this called? Airspun Powder. I've mentioned this before several times. I'm almost running out um, of this powder. This is all I have left. Um, so I'm going to just take this and I'm not going to put this all over my face this time. I'm only going to do underneath my eyes um, because I want this area to look really bright and awake um, because we are doing a nice end of summer makeup look. Go in with my Studio Fix uh, powder from MAC and this is NC30. Um, I used to use this a really long time ago before I even started wearing makeup. I would just wear this and I loved it by itself. But recently I have been using this on top of foundation and it gives me the most beautiful like finish and I just love it. I do take it with a powder brush though because it is a powder foundation and you don't want it to look like you are have too much makeup on sometimes. It can look that way if you put it on with a sponge. So I just go ahead and take a big fluffy bead cosmetics brush and I just pat this into the skin. Now that we're done with that, I'm going to go in and set my brows. I like to do this after my powders are already done because if I go ahead and put this, it'll be sticky and then by the time I do my brows, it'll cling on to the powder. So I'm using the Anastasia or Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Clear Brow Gel. I have been using this for literally years. And I still have the same tube that I've been using for years. It lasts me so long. And I'm almost finally out. So back into my palette, the Too Faced one. And I'm going to go ahead and do my under eye area. Because as you guys can see, my top lid looks so like top heavy. There's some nothing on the bottom lash line. So it looks kind of bare. I'm going to go ahead and even that out. And I'm going to take that Espresso color, the darkest shade that we use. This one over here. Take a small like pencil... Um, brush and kind of just line underneath there and I'm going to kind of smoke it out in a second but I'm just kind of defining the lower lash line with this color it's like a pencil brush but this is a little more fluffier than that and I really like this because it makes it look like really blended so I'm going to go ahead and go in with the revolver color velvet revolver and take that and I'm just going to blend this and buff this from the inner corner to the outer corner Going to contour. I'm going to use my um, Benefit Hula. Um, I've been using this again and I have been loving it again. 
And I'm going to use my NARS Eater Brush for contouring. And I'm just going to kind of like swirl this in here. Top off the excess and contour your cheeks. Go in with blush. And I'm going to take my Estee Lauder brush, Blush Brush. And I'm going to take Melba by MAC. Um, I've had this for such a long time. It is like a neutral peachy pink color. And I'm going to swirl this into my blush and apply it to my cheeks. And I'm going to go in with my highlight. I was kind of confused on what highlight to use because I've had so many big obsessions with highlighters lately but I'm going to take my champagne pot by Jaclyn Hill because this highlighter is so beautiful especially on fair skin so that is what I'm going to use today um, and I'm going to take my MAC 159 brush I mentioned this in my um, August favorites I think it was and I'm going to spray my MAC fix plus on it and then I'm going to swirl that into the highlighter and it just like intensifies it even more you're gonna see in a second like look at the pigmentation of that it is like so intense and it's like so pretty for summer too also going to do my cupid's bow because it just like highlights it and it makes it stand out more so these lashes look ginormous which i'm not used to but they're still really pretty and big as you guys can see they're like huge but we're gonna we're gonna work with it and with my lip liner this is the fruit cocktail lip liner i have been loving this all summer and it's just like the perfect coral like orange lip i don't know i'm obsessed with it way do you guys like my donut shirt i got this from work and i have been wearing it non-stop ever since i got it and it is the comfiest like t-shirt and it has like a little pocket with like the little donut. I think it's so cute. I'm obsessed with like donuts recently because it's just so cute. Now for the lip color, you guys are probably going to get scared and exit out of this video. Um, but I have been obsessed with orange lips this whole summer. So I finally um, decided that I needed to go more brighter because I love orange lips and corals and stuff like that for summer. I recently went to Sephora and I saw this and I had to have it. So this is the Kat Von D um, liquid lipstick in the color A Go Go. And it is like a neon bright, bright orange. And I love this color. I haven't worn it yet, so this is my first time wearing it. I do have um, some of the um, these liquid lipsticks. I have the like lilac purple one, and then I have this one. I wore the lilac purple one. It stayed on for so long, so I decided I needed to get this orange one. It's actually not as bright as it looks in the tube. On camera it is because my saturation is a little bit more higher than it is in person, but it's actually not that bright as I thought. The lip, it kind of looks a little bit red um, on camera, but in person it is like the perfect orange. I love it. I forgot, I'm going to go in with my Airspun powder and this is the... Beige Cosmetics 5 brush and I'm going to take some of that powder like this and I'm going to clean up my contour. I totally forgot to do this. I do this every single um, time I do my makeup and I contour because I just like it to look more cleaner. It also makes your contour stand out a little bit more too. And I tap the excess right in the middle of my eyebrows where I get oily. Okay, so this is the look. I'm going to go ahead and switch to my work clothes and I'm going to go ahead and head out to work. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.